show you something that I thought was uh, fun. Uh, there's a thing called a Mobius loop that is a self-intersecting piece of geometry that um, I can show you how to create uh, using NX. And NX has some amazing techniques that make this really easy. So I'm about to show you that. I'm going to try to just go over it as fast as I can. So I'm <clears throat> making a little circle and NX has the ability, uh, once you've made a sketch, to put a sketch on a path. So I switch to sketch on path instead of sketch on plane and I select that path and I make sure that I zero it out basically. I put the, the uh, sketch at the end of the path because I'm going to uh, use it to make a sweep uh, I'm going to sweep a single line segment and I want that line segment to be centered and I want it to be point on curve. So I'm going to hover over there until I can select the end point there, the sketch point. And I'm going to put a dimension on that and that's going to be like 20 millimeters and or maybe 30 millimeters. So let's make it a little bigger. It's 30 and finish. So there, I have nothing more than a circular sketch with a line. Of course, the circle does have a start and end point. And now I'm going to go to one of my favorite uh, functions, the swept function. And I'm going to select the section curve. There's that. I'm going to select the drive curve. But when I do, I'm going to say uh, linear angular law, 0 to uh, 360. That's one complete turn. Um, you know what, I think I'd like to make that a variable, so I'm going to say A equals 360. So awesome that you could do that in NX. And I'm going to select the, uh, the guide curve. Here it is. And say OK. So right away, that's a piece of geometry that, you know, is kind of cool looking. Um, as I change the variable A, A equals 360, I could say it's 2 times 360. And then this thing twists as it goes. So that is pretty cool. Okay. But I only want one turn. So 360 degrees. Okay, good. Now I'm going to say Control W because I don't want to see the sketches anymore. And I'm going to thicken that piece of geometry. So there's a thicken. I want to thicken it uh, symmetrically. So I'm going to select the face. And I'm going to go into the formula. And I think I'll say minus 2 here, plus 2. So that means it's going in both directions. And uh, there's no Boolean, of course, because it's a standalone item. Say OK. Th so there's that. And I don't really want to see the uh, face, the um, surface that I created. So I'm going to say Control W and get rid of the sheet bodies. So I don't have to see that. Perfect. Now I'd like a series of holes. I think I'd like um, 16 holes. Um, through the center of this, and NX is really good about that. In order to get it on the center, however, I'm going to go to the curve function, and I'm going to do something called an isoparametric curve, and I'm going to select this surface. I'm going to say that there's three isoparametric curves in this surface, and therefore it'll give me one on the end, one on the other, and one right in the middle. So it's really nice that I can parametrically do that. And as you can see, this curve starts here and goes in and out. Beautiful. Next, I'm going to put a point, an end point, on the end of that circle. Um, so that captures the actual start of this curve that you know goes around the whole, that whole surface. And now that I have that curve there, I can create a hole um, that's right on that little point there. Uh, by default, that hole is uh, normal to the face, and the diameter of it, I think, shall be 14. There we go. It goes all the way through by default, or all the way through to the next face. So that's a nice little thing. And I want, um, I don't know, uh, 12 such holes. Um, so I'm going to go to the uh, pattern feature. And I'm going to select that hole, boink, and I'm going to say pattern along a path. 
I'm going to select this path. Maybe I'll do 10. I'll do 10 holes instead of, it's like a nice even number, right? So there's going to be 10 holes total. And of course, I want them to follow that direction. So I'm going to say orientation, um, normal to path and follow face. And I'm going to select this face on which to follow and say, okay. And um, as you can see, uh oh, it's, um, it's done something untoward. So let me just edit that for a second. Let's do that. Let's take, let's actually uh, take this away. And there you go. So there's uh, 10 holes. I didn't need the follow face because it's staying true to that uh, center curve. That's beautiful. Okay, I think I'd like, actually, I think I'd like more holes. Um, I'm going to do 12 instead. So let's do 12 holes instead of 10. So I want some nice space in between them. And um, I think I'm going to want the holes to be even bigger. And you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to say 16 instead. And say OK. All right, great. So there you go. I'm almost done because I want two intersecting Mobius curves. So I'm going to say Control W and I'm going to get rid of the curves now. I don't need the curves anymore and I don't need that point anymore and good. So now if I said there's 12 holes then the rotation for the next set of Mobius shapes is going to be 360 divided by 12 uh, which is 30. So let's keep that number in mind. Um, so we're going to we're going to want to rotate this 30 degrees divided by 2 15 degrees should have the next race um, intersecting just right. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to put blends everywhere. And in order to blend this, I'm just going to grab all the edges there and I'm going to give it a uh, 2.5 is probably too much. Two. Two millimeter blend. So now it's nice and smooth. It's beautiful. Uh, next, I want another set or another, let's say, copy of this thing, but I want it rotated, um, I think, uh, 45 degrees plus 15. So now the next thing to do is to say home more and pattern geometry. Pattern geometry is different from pattern feature in that pattern geometry just grabs one whole big body. I'm going to pattern it circularly, and I'm going to pattern it about this z-axis where the whole thing started off. And, and I have to edit this number just right. So I want, what, 45 plus 15, is that right? Is that going to make it intersect? No, not quite. Not quite. I've got to dance around with this number. Let's divide that by two. And 45 plus three. Oh, that looks pretty good. Not there yet. Let's just straight, straight 45. We do 45. Oh, yeah. There it goes into sex pretty good now. And say okay. So there you have two intersecting Mobius loops. Here I'll color one different color. There we go. And apply. Come on, isn't that cool looking? Now the neat thing about NX is you can make these expressions so quickly on the fly. And so uh, right here, there's an expression that says A equals 360. That means this thing's only turning around once. But if I want it to turn around twice, then I just change the 360 to 2 times 360. Hit Enter. And NX should be kind enough to do that for us. And, of course, it does change the body, the, uh, the designation of the of the body uh, there's a parameter 
Uh, so now you can see there's two intersecting Mobius loops with holes in them that uh, intersect just right. Isn't that cool? Again, my name's Steve Samuel. Uh, the company that I work for is called Design Visionaries. We do this wonderful NX training, and we do staffing, and we do design and build. We enjoy the heck out of what we do, and that's why we share these cool little tips every now and then. Please, uh, if you uh, enjoyed this, um, like it on the YouTube channel down below, and I will see you online. Thank you very much. It's a privilege to do, it's a privilege to do these things. Thanks again.